Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're going to be installing a GFC rooftop tent made specifically for the 5th Gen 4Runner. So here's the panel for the, the D-panel, D-pillar section. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five clips, and then this little snap in here that goes to the C-panel cover. Uh, it was pretty easy to get out. We just yanked it and it eventually came out. We did have a little struggle on this one when we were trying to remove it, but we had to pull back some other parts and then it popped up. The entire reason that we're removing all these parts is so that we can get up and under there. So that bolt that's in the back, right there in the middle, that holds in the shark fin, whale tail. Uh, we just have to remove that and then we can pull it out the top. Oh, and we have to undo the electrical. Bigger than a 21 by 22. Just simply unplugged the electrical right here to the shark fin, and so uh, now we can pull that out the top. Okay, go ahead. All right, so we're gonna remove these five screws and then go into that those five spots in there to just do a little cap and coverage of uh, and uh, water seal it. We'll see how this works out in the electrical here in just a second. up in there at all. So we're just going to put this guy right back on top, screw him together and stick him back through. Lining up the wire here in the little slot, we're just going to shoot this down underneath, making sure it stays in that hole, then just snap it back into place. Like so. All right, so we tightened everything up inside there. We put the electrical back together. Now our next steps is to button up the inside before we start working on the roof. All right, so here we are on the top of the Forerunner. We're gonna be installing these little blocks first. There's that slight little angle on there that um, goes towards the top. On the bottom side is recessed to fit around the plastic little clips liners that are in the roof. So when we put these on, we're gonna want the steeper side on the outside. It's kind of creating it to be as flat as possible. So we're gonna put those down on the roof and then we're gonna add this on top of there and bolt it all together with the factory hardware. All right, so we're gonna add some Loctite to these threads. And then we're just gonna slide this all together. The Loctite also acts as uh, some water sealant because this will go down into, the, into your roof and you wanna protect that as much as possible. We have these outrigging rocks that are going to go on the outside of these flanges. They aren't exactly symmetrical. This one's a little thinner than that top side. Um, and then, so then these sit right on top of here on the outside, and there's a hole that goes all the way up and into these threaded spots. So you're going to thread those up. Make sure that you lock tight these. We're going to thread that up and just, I'll finger tight that into there just for a second. Get the Allen.
design, they've got some corners shaped off of them so you can actually slide these in almost anywhere and put them into place. And if you need to, you can take them out. So it's, that's really nice. Um, also, I'm gonna be aligning these, um, setting these up in the way that when you tighten it, it's gonna hold it upright and into place. So we'll put one into there, and put one back here. Then these we can just simply slide in, and when you do that, just wanna make sure that it's not gonna be able to spin. If you put it in the other way, it could possibly spin. So, no spinning, we're gonna slide those in. Slide those into place. We're leaving everything loose right now, uh, just so we can line it up, make everything um, hit its marks. Adding a little bit of Loctite to these. just going to put that do that for all four and then come back and just tighten it a little bit um, with the Allen head which is like a 530 seconds or like a four and a half ish area um, we had we had a hard time finding exactly what size this was tightened everything up here and what we found is we couldn't butt this up together. We actually had to move the tent farther forward because we were hitting this strut just barely and we are just barely clearing it right now so that's going to be nice and perfect for us. Um, when we put all the T-nuts and everything in, it all buttoned up really nice and clean on all four corners. We did um, not have any washers and we are probably going to re um, add some washers to this underside. So we're going to pull these out, add some washers and put them right back in. Uh, should be nice and easy. So now let's show you what it looks like when we pop this thing up. All right, so sliding these guys back here allows it some freedom, so then we can just simply push this up and the whole tent raises itself. Pretty sweet design. Big old doors, big old windows, and a big nice bed. So here I am inside the tent. We've got windows all around. We've got a window here in this corner. We've got a window here on the other corner. We got this big ginormous like side door that opens up all the way to the outside, which is super nice. The fabric is super thick and very nice and durable. It looks like it would hold up to a lot of weather conditions. And these zippers are just massive and they're awesome. And they have already have a bunch of ties on them. So it's nice and easy to grip. Uh, we've got, a, I'm sitting on a two inch thick mattress here. So that's really nice. And um, everything is put together really, really well. Um, all of the parts and are manufactured in Bozeman, Montana. It's all sewed there, all the billet aluminum, everything is done there in Montana. This thing is super clean, it's really nice. I have a ton of headroom. I'm actually sitting up right here inside the tent and I've got so much room above my head. It's amazing. I really, really like this tent. It's really clean, it's very well done and it's nice to have this big open door out here to look out into the scenery of, well, the business park, but, or anywhere beautiful that you guys might be. Thanks for watching this episode of Snail Trail 4x4. Hammer down on that subscribe button. Don't forget, keep crawling.